All right, hey everybody. We're about to do a quick tour. Show you guys the uh, space, the progress we've been making so far. So those two pieces of wood are what's left over. We're going to finish our ribbon and baseboards because we had um, three 12 by sixes, but they were actually 12 by fives. So we just basically put them in to where we would have an opportunity to add another piece of wood down here and then add an additional wood behind those two pieces of wood. You guys will see what I'm talking about once it's all done. And we actually left one of our measuring tapes right here, so let me grab that. But yeah, uh, we just finished this up earlier today, this top piece. This is the ribbon board right here. We need to add a little bit more stainer right there before we uh, add the final piece. And uh, I did stain this one time, but now that I got everything up, I'll probably just go over with this plant-based stain, light stain on the wood, just in areas where it seems like I haven't stained at all. But uh, yeah, for example, as you see, this is a little uneven. I'm going to be putting a wood piece behind this to bring it all together and then it's going to look a lot better versus what it is right now. But I mean, I've been pre doing pretty good in terms of keeping them pretty close together. All the other ones I did uh, pretty well. So um, I don't think I'm going to adjust this at all because at all, this, this is fine. Yeah. I could even put like a piece of wood in there, cut like a piece of small wood and then just wedge it in between. So with this, the ribbon boards that are a little bit higher up, they're actually taller than me. I just use the uh, ladders to uh, prop it up and then just screwed in one side and then allowed the other side just to drop and then I got it all in. So it's pretty straight, you know, it's a straight line. Looks pretty good. So now let's check out the other side, see how it looks. Now I actually have the ladders up right now because I wanted you guys to be able to see how you could, uh, you know, do it yourself if need be. It takes a little bit of strength to uh, lift up these two by sixes. I wouldn't say that they're super light, but it's a little heavy. But if you have two people, it would be a lot easier. But if it's only you yourself, then uh, this is what you can utilize. You can utilize like some ladders or something that's able to keep it up. So what I did was I actually marked the uh, rafter pole and I'm gonna drill through there. And then once I drill through the metal, I'm gonna take the drill, go inside the actual high tunnel and drill from the outside into this actual wood right here. And then that way I'll get a uh, perfect screw in fit because when I first started, I didn't do that and it uh, caused me to like wiggle around the screws and it's supposed to be like a smooth fit when you're putting in those screws. Let me show you guys a screw right here. There's a screw right here. So when you put those in, they're supposed to like slide right in. You don't want to have to do a lot of moving around. So these are it. They're uh, the bolt screws right here so this is a, an idea so when these go in they should go smoothly in and then we have like a uh, washer that goes with it so this will go on top and for the most part once I'm done with this we're gonna take a small break and just uh, probably work on the U channels. That's probably going to be the next video. We'll have something showing you guys how the U channels go in and some of the uh, strategies that you can put in with that. But yeah, this soil that we transferred over here, it's still looking good. It looks a little bit more compacted, but it's doing well. So I have an idea that I'm thinking about implementing, maybe bringing some. Uh, wood logs over here, but what I was also thinking is maybe putting some rebar into the wood logs and then 
dig it into the ground just so it won't move. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple different options available that uh, I think we may look at. And our broccoli, still surviving. <laughs> That's it for today.